competitive curler, um, living in Yellowknife, and I curl ladies, and I have I curl mixed, and I also I also coach a um, a bunch of young curlers on Monday Night Junior Curling that I work with every Monday and Wednesday night, and. Um, I just love it. The girls keep me energized and I'm just really involved with in the curling world. One of the little girls that I coach, Sam White, uh, nominated me for this award, which I was absolutely shocked. I didn't know she was doing that. Mary is kind and thoughtful and she never stops it being nice. And I treat her with respect and so should you because she's the reason how I do curling like this. And if you mess up, she will tell you what you messed up on and uh, help you fix it. Then you will become as good as her. And let me tell you, Carrie and her team are the best team ever. It just means a lot to know that um, all the kids I work with look up to me as a mentor. She's very nice. And helpful. And she helps us when we mess up. She's really kind and I love her. I don't think I have many more years of curling left. Whenever my competitive curling is done, I will be coaching these wonderful girls, hopefully to the Olympics someday. These girls are amazing. She's a she's a great person. I'm I'm very happy to have her in my life. I know that she's. I often call her my Yellowknife family. Her and, and my children call her Mom Grandma Cooey. So, it's she's Karen's she's a fantastic person. As a number of our family are away, and I guess you could say they're on the curling circuit. Um, I have a message for Carrie from each one of us. And first, his dad, Fred, said, as a youngster, Carrie always had to keep up with her brothers. This helped make her a strong competitor and a leader. Her determination and work ethics have brought her to this level, where she is now ranked as a highly, uh, highly ranked national competitor. She's such a great inspiration for the community. She's so positive. She, she just has shaped the program that we have now. And it's been great. Not only has she done an incredible job in terms of being an ambassador for young women and female curlers, uh, she's done that first sport in the Northwest Territories. Jamie, JK. <laughs> Carrie is a great representative for the Indigenous community, youth, and the Northwest Territories. From a young age, she had a passion to represent the NWT with pride. And Kevin actually said something. <laughs> um, Carrie, your longevity and success is evident in the, in the next generation of her family. As we all know, Sydney, Ava and Lila all dream of getting to the Scotties. She's uh, more than just uh, um, you know, out there playing for herself. She's giving back, she's coaching. I, uh, I didn't really follow curling previous and, and now I'm learning as much as I can. I'm watching games um, and uh, I'm more engaged in the sport, which uh, you know, without knowing Carrie, I might not have. And I think she's had that uh, kind of impact uh, throughout the NWT. Um, Carrie's fiery on the ice. She's the most competitive person I know. Even if you're playing balloon volleyball in the living room, <laughs> she's stealing points from her daughter. Carrie has brought together um, young, young uh, athletes, um, adult, adult learners new to the sport, uh, those that are in the competitive realm, and she has helped support uh, the growth of the sport in the Northwest Territories. And for myself, all I can say is I'm very proud of the wonderful, successful woman you've become. You have exceeded in all facets of life and congratulations on receiving this award. Uh, what makes me incredibly proud is to see the leadership uh, growth that she has accomplished in the 20 years that I've known her. And so she's an incredibly remarkable woman. She's very passionate and she's starting to have those very needed conversations in the North in terms of reconciliation as well. She's really in the forefront for kind of advocating for rights and in sport, but also just in, in Canada, which is, it's been really cool to be alongside that.